As my back leg moves, I'm already releasing my jab. Get an umbrella. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, it's not soft. It's better. This is kind of cute, too. Hello, girl. Thank you, Mom. You can. shower. because I couldn't try it later in life. Mm -hmm. If I didn't try it, I would regret not trying it. You know what I mean? Oh. Like I can always fall back on literally anything else. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? Okay. I'm trying to think. So because I'm not training like in the past week or so, I'm like maybe I should do like intermittent fasting. Oh. So I was like <laughs> Should I get something now? Is acai. Have you had it before? Oh yeah, I love oh, acai yeah. bowls. Have they taken you to acai karaoke? I don't think that we've been there. So it's gonna rain at two. Did it rain at two? How has your journey in combat sports shaped your perspe perception on success and failure? So taught me that the only real failure is quitting, like giving up. That goes like for leveling up in your sport, whether it's like jujitsu, um, even 
even in a fight, the times or matches that I know that I've lost, it's like I kind of gave up. So, losing a fight is not the end of your career in the sport or your journey in the sport. It's just a part of it. And if you don't learn from that, that's the only time you're actually losing. And then success is just consistency, showing up all the time. That's really it. <laughs> Are there any fighters, past or present, who you look up to or draw inspiration from? Definitely. We're talking about female fighters. Uh, I moved out here to train with Tiffany Van Seuss, who's my favorite striker. Um, and as I've gotten to know her, she's definitely inspired me. She retired the top of her game. And just being that close to somebody, knowing that like they're able to do that, it helps me believe that I can do that too in my sport. And that's just one off the top of my head. I train with a bunch of other female fighters who have way more experience than me, like Angie, Jenna, and Jiu Jitsu, you know, like, so just watching their journeys too. And especially with those two girls, they've been doing this for a minute and it tells me like, I still got time in my career. Like I think women low key, we get better with age, so. I'm looking forward to like whooping ass when I'm almost 40. <laughs> okay, blow. Bend your knees so you're not tall. Because we have to touch the knee. Are you going to try to touch mine? <laughs> okay? Don't let them touch your knee. But look. Go over the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls, go get water. <laughs> and uh, that's why we give you guys the color and stripes for behavior, commitment, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, what you got for the rest of the night? So, injured. So, I'm not hopping in the class. Just finishing up on the assault bike. Just nice and chill because I had body work done. So, I'm not trying to do anything crazy to mess it up. And then tomorrow, start the day. Teaching all over again. Yeah.